Hi. Hi. I'm Adam. I'm Kelly. And this is Vino Value. Where we guess the price of a bottle of vino. Bottle of vino, bottle of wine. Yeah. And tonight we are drinking Whispering Angel. It's a rosé. Cavs, Desclans, Saucha, Lynchine. Cold de Provence Rosé 2016. Nailed it! Nailed it! Nailed it! My French is getting better. I'm sure that was all correct. No issues here. I really like the bottle. It has these like little angel faces on it. It's the sweatiest bottle of wine we've ever had. Yeah, our farm is <laughs> a little hot right now. It is. It looks really good though. It looks very dainty. It looks really elegant it and does. simple. Dainty, elegant French. Yes. <laughs> you agreed with that before I was done. Go under the lip. No, you gotta one. press. You're not not much of a surgeon, are you? It what? says 2016 on the cork. Whoa! That's pretty cool. Oh, that is cool. That was the best sound. <laughs> I love how you're just like, oh, I didn't quite get this out. Rip apart the wall. Can I say I've been doing a lot of bicep curls? <laughs> <laughs> this smells not like a rose that I've ever had. It just smells like white wine. Does rose normally smell differently? Well, I think it. You gotta. It depends on which rose's you've had. <laughs> Let's make fun of my silliness. If you've had a lot of cheap, sweet rose's, then they taste like, you know, somebody doesn't like wine, Roger Joy, because it tastes like juice. I think it smells light and fresh. It smells really light and really fresh. It actually smells kind of... Peachy. Peachy. I was gonna say a little... Grapey. No. <laughs> I was gonna say, at first I was thinking Sauvignon blanc -y, and then I was thinking mm. Pinot Grigio-y, but not very Pinot-y. Honestly, a little more Sauvignon Blanc to me. Yeah, I think so. There's a little bit of a bitterness going on in a good way really? to me. Let's just drink it. Okay, okay. I love it when a rosé tastes like a real wine. It has a very interesting finish. It's really dry. This is not sweet at all to me. It is pretty dry. If you don't look at it, you don't know it's a rosé. Really? I don't think so. Let me not look at it. Yeah, don't look at it and take a sip. I would know. <laughs> She would know. My wine powers never lied to me. What are your wine powers telling you about this wine? Hmm. Uh-oh. Hung out to dry on this one. Oh no, what does it say? Nothing at all of, of help here. What does it say, though? It says, in the Esclans Valley, angels whisper. <laughs> if you drink this wine, you might hear them. Apparently a lot of schizophrenics live in Esclans Valley. Whoa. If by chance you visit us, you might see them. Saka El Sasha? Sasha? Sacha? I don't know. Sacha Alexis Lichine. Person who. Great French. That. Yes! My Great French. French. <laughs> Second only to yours. We're gonna tell you our own flavor notes. What do you taste in this? What do you taste in it? <laughs> dry. I get. I taste dry. I taste dry. A little bit of peach, apple. I'll get. I'll say apple. I was actually gonna say grass or lemongrass. You don't taste grass. Not in my day to day, but on the weekends, who knows? You know, go a little crazy. I would say a little sour apple. I was gonna say Granny Smith apple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a little bit of that kind of bitterness that I was mentioning earlier. I th I think it's there definitely on the palate. What's the finish? Dirt from the grass. <laughs> it's literally, it's like I went outside and ah, on the lawn. I would say a little bit of strawberry on the finish. I think you're crazy. <laughs> I might be out of my gourd. Gourd? Like a pumpkin gourd? Pumpkin gourd. I don't know. This, it's a really simple and balanced kind of white wine. That's it. Kelly, how much do you think this cost? Hmm. What's the price of an angel softly spoken into your ear? Guess my value. Good rosé. It has a really nice delicate bottle. It's French. And there's some like raised shit on the glass. 
There's some raised shit up in here on the glass. <gasps> I am also graceful and delicate. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, with the raised glass and the label, like 22. 28? 25. Got it, right? Six? Yeah. Oh my god. 25.99. Okay, 26. $26. All right. $26. Does cool. this taste like $26 to you? Um sure. Okay. I find it difficult to think about paying more than like $30 for a white or a rosé. I find it difficult to even fathom paying more than $12 for either. Unless it's a Sauvignon Blanc, in which case I'm fine paying a little more for it because I love great Sauvignon Blanc. Okay. I do like it. I think I'd buy this again. I would definitely or buy this. Or for the first time since I didn't buy it. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely have this again for yeah, sure. Yeah. Buy it again? I'd buy it for a friend who really likes rosé. I would definitely do that. Mm -hmm. Delicious. So I'm going to say recommend... Whispering, Whispering Angel. Shh. Whisper. You can only drink it when you whisper. We should have done that this entire episode. Mm, next time. I taste peach and strawberry. No, you don't. There's no strawberry. There's no strawberry on this. Strawberry's bullshit in most wine. Bouquets of strawberry erupting on the palate, reaching down my throat, ah, filling me with vengeance, strawberry joy. This has been Vino Value. Thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Share with your friends. Share with your friends and go buy yourself a bottle of Whispering Angel Rosé. You will not be disappointed. No, it's I don't really think really good. So. It is really good. And let us know if you want us to try your favorite bottle of wine or your least favorite bottle of wine. We would love to try your least favorite bottle of wine. Ooh. I would actually love to try everybody's least favorite bottle of wine ever. That would be awesome. Thanks. Have a good night.